this is Bronze Babe. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am uh, going to talk about this video. So before um, we get started, I will say I was having some technical difficulties um, when I was doing this. I actually thought um, I was doing some of the makeup on film and looked up and realized the, film, the camera wasn't um, filming. So anyway, we'll proceed on. So right here, um, let me just kind of fast forward a little bit in this instance. I've already prepped my face, um, washed it, closed it, and um, applied whatever I'm going to use, primers, um, pore fillers, whatever. Um, so here I put on a pore filler, um, a primer, iridescent primer, and um, I did a concealer on top of it. So what I did was I... Um, by this being the winter months, I am using two different colors, which will help me get the customized color that will suit my skin the best. And uh, whatever your color is, you can pick that. I am using Maybelline Fit Me, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend the two colors together, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to tap it into the places, especially into the large pores. I um, have large pores, so I don't want them to show um, in the process. So, powder makeup makes it when you pat it on instead of gliding it across your face or, you know, slapping yourself a whole bunch of times. Um, patting it generally helps minimize the look of the pores in photos, up close and personal, far away, and whatever else. Um, so here I'm just going in and I'm blending and getting it all around the areas. I also put the aluminum, actually that white stuff you see on my forehead right there, that is an aluminizer primer um, for the skin. And I put that on there because I am using powder and I don't want to look dry. So I kind of want to remain to look kind of dewy instead of using my foundation. I find that found, um, powder foundation, loose powder, does less transfer as well so I since I always am rubbing in my face it keeps me from uh, transferring the makeup off my face to clothes or paperwork or whatever so I'm just going in and I'm dusting um, and let's see yeah I'm just blending it in real good making sure I've covered every area notice that I won't take it down to my neck I never do um, I want to blend it in from my jawline from my neck to my jawline up where you don't see the um, the color difference and there we've got that part finished just doing a little touch up so some things I'll show in this video what I'm using some things I'll forget because I'm trying to move fast and film this at the same time but I did make another video doing just what I used and I may come back and do um, showing so that is a highlighter or concealer should I say um, that I'm putting on up under my eyes um, doing a very light uh, contour on my face because this is day this is the daytime um, this look can actually transfer from day wear to day look to night look. I'm not going to wear any eyeshadow in this uh, video. I'm just going to do eyelashes, which the eyelashes, the eyelashes that I use in this video um, are a bit dramatic, so I didn't have to go out and I didn't have to go all out and use eyeshadow and try to blend it and all that good stuff. So I'm just taking the um, white concealer and just putting it in my T-zone areas and the places that I want to remain lighter and I'm going to put it with my, uh, yeah, I noticed that one side was a little higher than the other, so I had to um, adjust it. So now I'm going to come back in with my damp sponge. You always want to use a damp sponge. Um, this is cream on top of powder, so you want to make sure that it's not going to crease. You want to 
blend it in as well as possible. So that's what I'm doing there with the wet, with a damp, not necessarily wet. It doesn't have to be saturated, but it does need to be damp um, sponge. And uh, I'm going to go, I use two different sponges, one for my lighter contouring and then one for the darker contouring. So I'm just going in and blending it everywhere I see it. And then when I come once I'm done with that, then I'll come back with the darker concealer. I mean darker um, contour. And I'm not sure who that I'll have to look, but um, I'm not sure who's the maker of that uh, tube that stick. So I'd have to look but I am now putting on some uh, loose banana what do I call banana powder so yellow I'm going to kind of let it sit a little bit and put it in the places where I just blend it in and uh, I'm actually going to make it set a little bit more but I'm going to blend it in and then we'll see the other process that I'm going to do brushing it off because there is loose powder. I don't want to uh, blend it in that well. I just want to keep brushing it off with the brush um, where it doesn't sit. And if I do take pictures like I did in this particular um, after I did this video um, Yeah, excuse me. I was listening to music. My favorite thing. So um so yeah, so now I'm going back in and just blending it, and I'm taking the brush and blending it back, you know, just knocking off the residue off of my face. Um, I would not suggest going out like that, but I'm going to finish it up. So now I'm going to take the darker uh, contour, and I'm going to go down the edge of my nose. I like my nose to be as thin as possible. My nose is already thin, so to achieve that look is not that hard for me. But um, I'll come back with the lighter part of my sponge and then just tap it in the middle down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm just going around the edges of my hairline to give me some shading. And um, I'm still using the same product. And it is a Wet n Wild contour palette. Um, I've broken so many of them in the past that they both will mix together and then I just, I, I'm pretty sure I can use it, but I don't throw it away and buy another one. So anyway, I'm coming in with my my cheeks and I am contouring my cheeks now with the brush. Um, and I'm going around my jawline and blending it in to give it a more defined effect and look. Um, if you know anything about contouring or if you are interested in contouring, it is just really practice. And um, with this particular one, that that, um, that particular brown that I'm using and that contour is a little light and so I kind of put it on a little bit heavier just so that it can show up. So now I'm going to go back in with my white and now I'm going to actually, uh, I guess you would, would say bake it. Uh, and then I'll do that in all the areas. And drag it down a little bit. And outline. Give me more of a definition in my mind. In my jaw area. So with the first step, and like I said, I'll come back and do a video and show you each product that I used. I won't, um, I won't redo the video as far as I'll, I may do it, redo it at some point in time with a different look using the products that I used. But I did um, come back and make another video, which I'll have to upload. But I, since I was working on this one first, I decided to go ahead and get it, get it out to you guys. Um, I generally take the contour and go around my lips to make my lips look a little bit fuller. Huh. So now I have uh, done something with my hair. Actually, I'm gonna, it's gonna change from that point, but um, I guess I could have rocked it like that as well. But I'm a little bit 
bit more coiffed than that. So I'm really, really, really liking the way this is coming out. And uh, there I am actually putting on a blush. It is a mauveish color and it went really, really well with the contour. But I didn't show it. Sorry guys. So that is a that is the actual the illuminator that I had on my face in the beginning. It was kind of whitish looking. That was it. I'm gonna take my fan brush and just kind of get the residue off the stick because I don't want to use that much. And I'm gonna take the palette that I just showed that one there. That is by uh, Wet n Wild as well. And I am going to go down to the rim of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And I am going to get my right up and right up over my cheekbone. Over my eyebrow and in my chin area. And I think this is a nice fall look or winter look. Um, my hair stays that color. Oh well in the summertime I do go like a 613 blonde. Full full fledged blonde, as blonde as I can go. That is an illuminator, highlighter illuminator as well, and I'm going to take that and mix it with my bronzer. Um, I didn't realize it was backwards, so, um, but I'm trying to show it to you guys. So I'm going to take that bronzer and that hot gold highlighter, and I'm going to go back into my forehead area um, to kind of give me more of a warmer look. For me, it's easier if I just clean off the tip of the mascara, and I didn't do that at first. So I kind of had glopped some on my um, eyelash, and I needed to remove it. So, um, I am just making sure that everything is still holding. Actually, uh, this is about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm maybe about 7.30 in the morning as I'm getting dressed and I actually did another video later on that day um, after I got home from work and my makeup was still holding as if I had just put it on and that's the amazing part about all of it just knowing how to apply so now I'm going to take that spoolie and just kind of break out brush out that extra excess clumped up mascara so ladies if you can remember just clean off your mascara brush when you're doing your um your lower lashes one thing you don't want to do is go out in public with heavy 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 lower lash it's fine for evening wear night wear when you're going out to a place where it's kind of little dull the lighting is kind of dim and you know you can kind of get away with that and i find that usually heavier mascara applications to your lower eye makes you look a lot older than what you want to look. So now I'm going to come in and possibly do my eyelashes. Yes, that's it. Um, <laughs> so, um, I am looking for oh, so I guess I got it now. So I have some tweezers that I apply my eyelashes with. So with this, I'm getting ready to um, apply my eyelashes with my glue and with my hairspray. So I spritz the lash band with the hairspray first and then apply a thin coat of um, eyelash glue and then turn on and spritz it again, blow it for a few seconds and then apply. It really, really works. It really, really helps. It really keeps your lashes secure and um, you can probably get away with wearing them for uh, at least a week, maybe a week and a half. Generally, I get about a good week and a half wear if I leave them on and don't take them off. Uh, but 
be careful because if you sleep rough, uh, you can end up bending the lash fibers themselves. And that's a bitch to um, straighten back out. But it can be done. I, um, I don't have any uh, at this moment. I keep so many eyelashes in, in stock at my own home where I don't have to do that anymore. Where I keep them or try to make uh, make them work. I just toss them in the trash. But if you're on a budget, I can tell you how to do it. So now I'm applying it. Those tweezers are to me like the best um, way to apply it because it's kind of curved and you can kind of get the band to mesh up with your lid. Yes, it could poke you, but if you're careful, it won't poke you in. Yeah, it's really open. Like, it immediately grasped to my um, eyelash. I am really cutting up in this video. So, um, let it go I had come too far right here at the end and my phone rang and I had to take the call and so I had I couldn't just say forget it and scrap it I had come too far so I had to put it put it out there so um I think maybe possibly I may just um do a lot when I film I may just talk because this editing stuff is really 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 a beast but here I am. So I am getting that lash done. I am just about ready to put on my shoes, grab my purse and my jacket, and head out for the day. I am. I did go on a date later on that evening. I did not change my makeup just because it was still there and I did not need any more. I just added eyeshadow. So guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Talk to you later. Bye.
Well, guys, I think this is it. I'll come back and uh, show the completed look. I'm actually done with my face. And I think it really turned out good for a rush job. So, and I normally don't wear my <laughs> my own hair out only because the, um, it's so cold outside. So, I like to keep my hair, my hair warm. But, I will be back. It was great doing this video with you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm bringing more videos and more content, um, more ways you can apply makeup, and I will give a step-by-step -step of what I did to achieve this look. Um, I know I kind of rushed, and I probably didn't show some things that I had already restarted getting ready um, before I actually filmed. So I will do a. Um, tutorial on this look um, how I achieved this look and that's it so thanks for joining me if you're new thanks for stopping by please subscribe please share please like and push your notifications so that you will get alerted when I put up a new video right now I'm trying to put up a video I'm trying to put at least two videos up a day don't hold me to that because I do have a life outside of YouTube, but that is my goal, is to try to do a um, two videos per day, and I'm generally up all 24 hours, I think I, I did this like two days in a row, and I was just tired, I'm surprised I don't look tired um, when I started out, so anyway, and guys, I'm telling you now, this is the best hack that I've ever probably st stumbled upon my own self so far as I know I don't I've never heard anyone else say this but using the well I don't think it really matters what type of spritz this is just a spritz that I use um, for my for my hair and so wearing weave um, for girls who wear weave I sometimes wear it I don't wear it as much because it does a hole in my hair as well as a sew in but um, in tracks, that's what the musicians used to use, or what they do use. When they put the glue down, they spray it. They spray the track first, put the glue down, and spray it again. Then lay it on the, on the scalp and blow dry it. And it holds better than just applying it with this glue. This I can really feel. <laughs> I can really, really, really feel the. I can really feel it on my eye. I don't know what's there. It's, it's secure. I don't care what kind of wind comes in. Um, Anyway, but thank you. Uh, so I don't know if it'll lift. I don't know if it'll lift with the watering eyes. But anyway, thank you.